Good evening, folks. It's Diamond with the Oppenheimer Ranch Project, Magnetic Reversal News, Sacred Geography, and many others, bringing you a grand solar minimum. Update Saturday, November 18th, 7.45 p.m. Mountain Time, 2023. We are waiting on a geomagnetic storm uh, from a filament which ejected from the sun back here on the 16th. Should be hitting Earth sometime tomorrow afternoon or tomorrow evening. We also have a close eye on the Reykjanes Peninsula with new maps showing where the ground is going up and going down. Keep calm. It's boom time. More than a foot of snow and 100 mile per hour wind gusts possible as storm approaches the Sierra Nevada. The winter weather advisories in effect from 4 p.m. Saturday through 4 a.m. Sunday stretch from Lake Tahoe near Reno to south of Yosemite. Three to eight inches of snow expected above 6,500 feet with as much as 14 inches above 8,000 in heavy winds. Strong winds could cause tree damage, blowing snow and hazardous boating conditions on Lake Tahoe with waves of two to four feet. So heed the warnings. As severe storms threaten the plains to the Gulf Coast during busy Thanksgiving travel weekend. Buckle up, buttercup. Severe thunderstorms are possible in Oklahoma City on Sunday, and then the threat will evolve for places like Jackson in Mississippi and Baton Rouge in Louisiana on Monday. Damaging winds, a few tornadoes are expected to be the main concerns, though isolated hail will also be possible. Here's the severe storm threat Sunday through Tuesday morning. Rapid deepening of a new trough with favorable conditions for strengthening low. Thunderstorms will increase across the plains and severe storms likely during the evening hours. Here is the big threat Monday. Shreveport, Jackson, Hattiesburg, Alexandria, Lufkin. You're all in the crosshairs here. Likely severe storm threat. So heed the warnings. The rainfall forecast through gobble gobble Turkey Day is looking like two to three inches north of Atlanta and in western North Carolina. So big rain for the mountainous regions. Take a look at that. And there could be some isolated flash flooding with these storms. So it's going to be a moist Thanksgiving for many. Snow and rain, in fact, will bring weather woes to millions. And in this map, we can see um, where the biggest threat is for your gobble gobble day. <laughs> so pretty interesting. Here is Sunday the 19th. Oh, let's go over to Turkey Day. That wasn't even Turkey Day. Well, they don't even have Turkey Day up there. So... Stay tuned for the Thanksgiving forecast. Storm is tracking across the West. We just spoke about it. Pre-Thanksgiving storm with potential travel impacts for the East. You can see many winter storm washes and warnings up here in purple. A cold front is producing strong winds, high elevation snows, coastal and valley rains, and a surge of cold air across much of the Western U.S. this weekend. It was frigid all day and it feels well horrendous outside it's damp and cold first time we had this is the fourth time it's rained since spring ding ding so we need this moisture now a pre-thanksgiving storm may bring areas of severe thunderstorms gusty winds heavy rain and heavy snow from the central to the eastern u.s early in the week which will impact travel but warnings and watches just out now for the west let's walk you through the snowfall here here is your Sunday into Monday. Heavy snow is going to just make its way through there. There you can see that band in the Sierras of 16 or more inches potentially. That will be completely on the ground by tomorrow night. Here is your Monday morning. Snow should move east and be hitting the Rockies in my region for most of Monday into Tuesday. By Tuesday, that storm will be moving and bombing out here as a nor'easter, bringing heavy snow to New England, but not the Philadelphia area. But if we keep the models moving forward, there is a system right here, November 28th, 29th, that could bring snow to the city of brotherly love. Stay tuned for more updates. Look at that snow pattern. Shut up, Al. Get your home. Al Gore is not happy. Seismic update, we just had the biggest quake of the day, five magnitude in the Philippines. No other quakes of note, really. Some quakes up here in northern Alaska, but all overall, all is quiet on the western front. As our eyes turn to Iceland, where we have the Reykjanes Multiview live from Iceland live stream right now. No eruption yet. 
That doesn't mean that it won't be happening. We're going to link you here to the Raspberry Shake 4D view map of the seismicity there that you can follow if you're interested. Also, new map coming out here. The latest INSAR image showing the area where that lava is. It's right, see these two bullseye areas? This is where that dike is, where all the magma is currently sitting, and Grindavik is in the center of it, unfortunately. As we informed in the last update here, the situation is almost unchanged from yesterday. The biggest event was a magnitude 2.8 in Hagenfell, 3.5 kilometers north-northeast of Grindavik, right around here. The most likely scenario remains that an eruption will start any time in the near future. And those earthquakes in just the last four hours are lining up right over that dike and Grindavik itself. So our thoughts and prayers go out to those. There has been no change in the seismic tremor, maybe a little bit of a tilt up, but when the eruption begins, there should be a shift. Space Weather News update for November 19th, 2023. We do have a three-day geomagnetic forecast showing geomagnetic storms starting tomorrow. Uh, right now, KP is very low. Ho, ho, ho. But we could get up to G1 geomagnetic storm by Monday morning. Right now, KP hovering between zero and one. But there is increased solar activity, which appears to be on the horizon. A number of C flares and one low-level M flare were detected so far today. Or perhaps even another region altogether. Uh, there we can see that active region on the northeast limb headed our way. And if we come over here at the coronal hole map, you can see that active region right over the limb there uh, with some amazing brightness as it is turning around to meet us. Overall, the sun is quite blank as far as sunspots, and we are at solar max. So this is definitely an enigma. The WSA Enlil spiral here showing us the approach of this plasma filament probably will hit sometime tomorrow afternoon into tomorrow evening and could be a sustained event, three to nine hours, hours of power. So make sure to get out tomorrow night and look up for Aurora from this geomagnetic storm if it does in fact manifest. Right now, taking a look at the Discover solar wind, we can see a slight kick up here in the plasma speed, which is very low, hovering down at 300 kilometers per second. But what we should expect from the impact is all telemetries jumping at the same time, bringing us up into KP4 or 5. Now, a peculiar aurora-like radio signal from a sunspot was, has been discovered for the first time. It's an exciting discovery that has the potential to alter our comprehension of stellar magnetic processes. And in fact... Here is an artist's depiction of what that aurora looked like above the sunspot. All the links will be below. Now, if you don't know about the Adena effigy pipe, maybe you should. It appears to have extreme connection with Mesoamerica, and it was if it's dated from 800 BC to AD 1. So this is a quite an old carving from the Native Americans which seems to have extreme Mesoamerican influence, and very few people know about it. And if you stay tuned, we're going to share with you um, a video coming up on Magnetic Reversal News where Lee and I talk about this document, which I found this morning, which is very interesting, coming from the American naturalist, eight, April 1882, about mound pipes. This happens to be one of those mound pipes, but some of them are quite intriguing including some pipes in the shape of, wait for it, not a bear. How about an elephant? An elephant pipe found in Iowa, and not just one, two of them. So tune in to catastrophic events in Europe every 10 to 15,000 years, super mega beds discovered. And in the second half of the show, we will be covering the mound pipes. That's over at Magnetic Reversal News. The link is now over in the chat and in the description box. And follow us over at Twitter or X, Oppenheimer Ranch Project at Dime in the Day for the latest updates all day. And that's a boom to knowledge. Please share this video as we are shadow banned. We need your help to grow. Become a Patreon. Support the work we do. Watch all of our podcasts in one place, commercial free. Be safe. We love you.
And that is a boom to knowledge. Mm -hmm.